Friday Night Post Game Scoreboard Show continues here. We are live at Depot Brady's and live on the internet at listenyourway.com. Want to thank you all for joining us and thanks for being a part of our program tonight. Well, as we said earlier tonight, it's a winning night for Forsyth County. All wins, wins all around. That's always a good thing here at Listen Your Way and here in Forsyth County. South Forsyth picked up a win earlier tonight, a 27 to nothing win at Duluth. And joining us on the telephone is South Forsyth Warriors. Wrong, wrong button there. Coach Wendell Early, thank you for joining us here on the show. How are you doing tonight, Coach? Uh, well, doing pretty good, Travis. Thanks. Well, congratulations on that win, 27 to nothing at Duluth. Just kind of tell us a little bit about the scoring. Uh, just kind of walk us through it a little bit. And uh, when did you first get on the board there in Duluth? Well, we um, uh, we received the opening kickoff and, and drove down. We uh, gave it up on downs kind of down there close, and our defense held them. And uh, then our second drive, we, we went in and, and scored. Uh, it was a, a pretty fun night all night all around. We really uh, we really played well, and, and the kids worked hard, and and uh, we just scored a, 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 a. It was a nice it was a nice night in that um, our defense played well, and our, our offense kind of finally put some things together. We've changed our offense. We used to be in the spread, and and now we're running the I formation and running some option and and outside zone type plays and. And uh, it seems to be agreeing with us a little more. So we're excited about it. Uh, our quarterbacks did well. Nick Bellew uh, uh, threw the ball and ran the option well. And and uh, uh, we, uh, we, were at, we were without Brett Sharon tonight. He's got a hurt shoulder, but he'll be back next week. But uh, Austin Jones stepped in at fullback and did a terrific job. And uh, Hunter Beagley, our little sophomore tailback, ran hard and did a good job. Our guys up front. Uh, did a terrific job. They uh, uh, blocked really well. It's a little different blocking schemes and techniques than they're used to, so it's taken us a couple of weeks to, to put all that together, but they've done well. They really did well. Defensively, uh, Joe Outlaw had a good game, as did Dade Parham and, and uh, Will Slade and, and uh, Kyle Travis. Uh, all those guys did a, did a great job for us tonight. You pick up the win at Duluth, 27 to nothing. Congratulations on that. You get to enjoy it for a couple of days, and then how soon do you start? Uh, you got Peachtree Ridge coming to town next week. How, how soon do you get back with the guys and start uh, start game planning for that one? Well, we're going to enjoy ourselves tonight. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then tomorrow tomorrow we get back to work. So uh, yeah, there's no rest for the weary. So but we'll, we'll get back to work on it and finalize our game plans and everything on Sunday and, uh, and get with the kids first thing Monday morning and, and start working on Peachtree Ridge. But we're going to enjoy this one for about 24 hours. All right. Well, you, you deserve it, Coach, and congratulations on the win. Glad to hear the good news from Duluth, a 27 to nothing win for the War Eagles. Thank you. It was a, it was a great night for, for, uh, for everyone, and, and uh, we came out uh, very healthy, which is always a concern when you're, when you're thin as we are. And uh, we'll actually have uh, Brett Sharon back next week, so we're excited about that. All right, Coach. Everybody else health-wise doing okay? Everybody's in great shape. We, uh, as far as my, I know, I mean, we had we don't have any any bad injuries or anything. Knock on wood. And uh, but we're uh, we're excited about the the opportunity. We got three more weeks to three more games, and uh, uh, really would like to, to perform well and just keep getting better. All right. Well, once again, congratulations, and we appreciate you joining us here on the Listen Your Way Post Game Scoreboard Show. No, I, I appreciate you. I really appreciate the call and appreciate being part of what you're doing. We really think you're doing great things for, for high school football in this area, and uh, we, just, we just appreciate you to death. Thank you, Coach Early. We'll talk to you soon. All right, Travis. Take care now. All right. Thanks a lot. That's Coach Wendell Early, head coach of the South Forsyth War Eagles. A win for the War Eagles tonight, 27 to nothing at Duluth. Congratulations to the War Eagle program. And as we said, it's a winning night all around. West Forsyth, the winner. At Johnson, 42 to nothing. A win for Johnson. North Forsyth, a winner, 24 to seven. Against Norcross. And Forsyth Central, a winner, 14 to seven. On homecoming against Lakeside. So wins all around. Well, all right, stay tuned. There's more to come here on the Listen Your Way postgame scoreboard show. For the crowd here at Beefo Brady's, get something to eat. Get yourself uh, something to drink. Flag down a waiter, a server. And uh, be sure to tip. So do that. All right, tell your friends, listenyourway.com is the place to be. Next week we will be at North Forsyth High School.
It's our first trip to Raider Valley. We've covered the Raiders a couple of times this season already, but uh, it's going to be our first time there, and we are looking forward to it as the Raiders will host North Gwinnett. And that's going to be that's going to be quite a game as undefeated North Gwinnett, seven and zero overall, five and zero in region play, comes to Raider Valley. Stay tuned. More to come here at ListenYourWay.com. 